cases of rape in this society have become so prevalent. And in 2012, we took up this matter because it was in the public interest to do so. What is important in, at this juncture is that justice has been served. We, just yesterday, an imam in a mosque in Lagos was remanded in prison custody for rape of five years old child in Lagos. It is a continuous, last month, a pastor in Port Harcourt was accused of impregnating 11 of his, of his members. When will it end? We need to use certain persons as a deterrent so that pastor congregant relationship is supposed to be a person of a, uh, authority, a fiduciary relationship of trust. Why do you abuse it for a transient moment of enthusiasm that takes no man nowhere? So I'm very, very happy today. It is our duty as a police to ensure that the society is free of crime. So when a person commits, it is our responsibility to prosecute him and uh, diligently to ensure that justice, is, uh, justice has uh, taken place. So that's what you have seen, you have witnessed today. You know, this uh, convict uh, who, are, who have been convicted today uh, committed this rape, committed rape on a 14-year-old girl. That's a very a small girl. And worse still, the girl was a church member uh, of his church. And the girl, not only that, the girl looked up to him as a father. He used to, he used to call, him, call her his daughter, only for him to turn around and rape her. So, the, you know, it is a very, very wicked act, the way we look at it, and the, the law also look at it that way. So, that is why we took time, prosecuted this matter diligently and properly, and today uh, he will have a uh, secure conviction. For the first count of rape, he was given seven years in prison. Why? For the second count of uh, in attempt to commit abortion, he was given five years. That is 12 years altogether. And so... That is that we serve as a lesson to him and then to others also. So it is a victory to the society, so that the society should be, should be free of um, all this type of uh, elements. I am so happy. I want to thank him so much. When he started and how the accused person went to him and everything, each time he goes to him, he will call me. You know. So I really want to thank him. I also want to thank Abolaho. He has been there for me. Right from the onset, he told me, Madam, be calm, you will get judgment. And today, judgment is delivered. I am so happy. At least the society can rest from this man.